All right, welcome back to the Kitchen Group Research video snippets. Today I'm gonna to talk about a paper that is uh, recently released in AICHE Journal, and that is on the evaluation of the degree of rate control via automatic differentiation. So you probably know I've been talking about automatic differentiation for a while, and this is uh, one of our most, most significant new works that, that shows uh, what we can do with it. So this work was done by uh, Yilin Yang and Siddhartha Char. Uh, so congratulations to both of them for, for this wonderful work. All right, so in a, in a nutshell, um, what the degree of rate control is uh, a kind of a normalized sensitivity analysis that tells you what reaction steps in a mechanism are kinetically relevant. So you can think of it uh, as like which step will have the biggest effect on the rate if you could increase the rate of that step or decrease the rate. And uh, I'll show you, you need derivatives to get this re, uh, to get this sensitivity, and you have to take the derivative of the reaction rate with respect to rate parameters. Now, if you don't have an analytical solution for the rate, it's kind of tricky, and most people would resort to something like finite difference approximations, and I'll show you those are not very accurate if you're not careful, and they're also slow. And so what we do is use automatic differentiation to compute those derivatives so that we can do the DRC and distributed evaluation of local sensitivity. And uh, it's faster and more accurate than finite differences. And uh, once you know how to do it, it's actually easier. So we use Julia uh, for this work, mostly because uh, it had the, the right kind of solvers that were differentiable, but it's uh, possible to do a lot of this work in Python as well. Okay, so um, the mathematical definition of the DRC, the degree of rate control that we're interested in, there's a couple of different versions of it, but uh, we'll focus on this one at the bottom here. It's similar to this one uh, up here, but basically R is the reaction rate, and it depends on all the rate constants and the pressures and the temperatures uh, under the conditions of interest. And we just need to calculate the derivative of the log rate with respect to one of these free energy parameters. Um, this can be the free energy of an adsorbate or the free energy of a transition state, etc. And this, uh, this quantity then tells you how sensitive the reaction rate is to that parameter. So if this is zero, then it has no impact on it. If it's one, uh, it tells you that it is uh, an important step. And if it's minus one, uh, it tells you that it's an inhibiting step. So the getting these derivatives is, uh, is not easy, and so we use automatic differentiation. And just to give you a, just a real quick kind of idea of what automatic differentiation is, the thing on the left here is a, uh, a graphical representation of a program. Let's say we have uh, a function here. We have x1 and x2 going in. Uh, they get combined, say, by multiplication, or um, here you multiply it by a number multiply it by another number, subtract those two numbers, take the log of it, and then combine it with this, and out comes y. And if you wanted to calculate dy dx1, then you can follow this kind of path where you have these variables, w1 and w2, and you work through what the derivatives of these things are, and you apply the chain rule at each node in the graph. And that's essentially what happens in our program, is that we write a function that has some arguments x1 and x2, and it has an output y. Let's say this is the rate, and these are those parameters of interest. And our program can automatically calculate the derivative. All right, so here's um, like a simple example that we worked out just to show what the challenge is. If we have just this two-step reaction mechanism, A plus an empty site goes to A star, A star plus B goes to C, then the rate of production of C is given by this long expression. And to calculate the degree of rate control, we have to calculate the derivative of this expression with respect to parameters that are within uh, inside these k's. And uh, if that's giving you like a shiver, um, that's because it's not super fun. You have to work out the derivative with the chain rule all the way through, and then you have to implement the program uh, to do that. And what we can do instead is just use automatic differentiation. And so it turns out the derivative of this is known and can be found. Um, I won't show it here, it's, it's in the paper. But over here we show that the analytical uh, derivative by DRC and the automatic differentiation 
uh, of DRC all the way through a numerical integration of this uh, expression or, or with respect to this um, analytical expression are visually identical uh, to each other. And it's much easier to do the automatic differentiation than it is to work out the derivative. We can do more complex examples. So here we have a seven step reaction mechanism and here there is no uh, analytical solution to the steady state uh, degree of rate control. You have to find it using uh, root finding and it turns out we can use the implicit derivative formula to get the derivatives that we need and we're you know, readily able to calculate the degree of rate control for all of these steps and you see here that only step four uh, is kinetically relevant and all the other steps um, are basically not, uh, not having an effect on the overall rate. And then finally we looked at a very complicated 17 step uh, reaction mechanism and on the right here we compare automatic differentiation with a couple of different finite differences and you can see uh, with the different step sizes here that uh, depending on the specific um, one that we're calculating you can you get these little oscillations or you get uh, inaccuracies and you have to be really careful to make sure you don't have a step size that's too small or that's too large uh, just to find the right um, the right balance we don't have any issue with that in automatic differentiation at all it is uh, faster and more accurate than using finite differences all right, and then the last thing we looked at was a different uh, quantity that needs derivatives, that is the delta, uh, which is related to a, a local sensitivity analysis. And that happens uh, to be useful because we have parameter uncertainty uh, when you have the rate constants, we never know them exactly. And that uncertainty can lead to uncertainty in the, in the DRC or in which steps are, are important. And so this quantity down here is also related to a derivative and can be used to see how sensitive is the, uh, the importance of a step with respect to the parameter estimate. And what we see especially here in step 14 is sometimes step 14 is important and sometimes it's not. And that's an indication that it could be important to get a more accurate uh, measurement of the parameters associated with step 14 and uh, automatic differentiation made it uh, easy to get to that analysis. Okay, so concluding, um, automatic differentiation is really a game-changing capability in uh, computing the degree of rate control and sensitivity analysis. And if you follow some of our other uh, recent papers in uncertainty quantification as well. We can easily compute steady state derivatives through numerical solutions, uh, through root finding, and through uh, numerically integrated solutions of ODEs. We find it's more accurate and faster than finite differences, and uh, you should probably be learning how to use automatic differentiation if you do any kind of work like this um, in the future. So that's it. Uh, thanks for coming to our short video summary of our recent paper on the evaluation of the degree of rate control with automatic differentiation. Thanks, and we'll see you another day.